Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Shine eCourse. In this video, I will demonstrate the campaign communication using ISV2, 60-0v24c and Canvas tool. Before the demonstration, let me introduce concept of object dictionary. Object dictionary is a sequenced object set. Every object uses a 16-bit index to search for address. To be able to request for any bit in the data, 8-bit sub-index is defined. For example, 6040 is control word index. It's used to control the motor enable, rotate or stop, and other motion. 0 by 6041 is status where we can know the status of drive by it. The value in 603F is error code. So, how can we use the object dictionary index? One of the ways we normally use is called SDO. SDO is short for service data object. It's used to access object dictionary of a device. Access site is referred to as client. Can append device, which provides required services with access. Object dictionary is referred to as server. Here is the SDO structure showing. Clients can telegram and service replies can telegram includes 8 by data. Every request from client is met with reply from the server. Here is the SDO structure showing. It includes writing data and end return. Reading data and return. Then let me expand this telegram. This telegram beginning with 602 is sent by master device to slave device. Byte 0 is SDO command word to be means write 32-bit data into an object index. Byte 1 is the index low 16 bits and byte 2 is the high 16 bits, so this index is 1801. BYTE3 is the subindex 16 bit. So the address index is 1801, subindex is R3. From byte 4 to byte 7 is the data that should be sent. The actual value is hexadecimal. The actual value is hexadecimal to 0F0. Slave device will return a piece of telegram to the master after receiving. 582 is COBID. The figure 2 means can address nitrogen monoxide. The second byte is return word. 60 means writing successfully. If the return value is 80, it means writing failed. And other values meaning are shown in this table. Now, this demo is used to start and stop motor under PP mode. On the left, the figure 0601 is COBID. The current address number is 1. The first set mode of operation index is 0x6060. The value is 01, means profile position mode. The second one set command position, the index is 0x6087. The 32-bit hexadecimal EFEE5ADD means the command position is signed decimal minus 269,590,819. The third one is for the velocity setting. The fourth and fifth are for acceleration and deceleration setting. The sixth is for enabling motor. The seventh is for starting the motor. 6040 is control word index. You can find out the value's meaning at 6040 in the LedShine Canopen product user manual. You can find out the value's meaning of 6040 in the LedShine Canopen product user manual. Every bit has different function. The 8 is for stopping the motor. You want to stop the motor while the command is not completed. You can send this telegram. Then I'm gonna demonstrate to use Canvas tool at first. Connect Canvas tool with F2 according to the manual. Set the can node ID and board rate via spin switch. In this video, I set node ID to 1 and the board rate is 250,000 hertz. Turn on the power and open the software. Open the USB underscore can tool. Slice it USB dash can to dot zero. Click start. Select 205 kbps. Select channel 1, then click OK. This is heartbeat from slave device. The data is 7F. And now the device is under the pre-operation status. Now I send data to change the slave to operational status. So, the heartbeat value is 0.5 inches now. That means we can write the 
parameters and operate this motor via CAN bus now. Let me try to control the motor by the command. Now the motor is rotating. You can send the command to stop the motor. The motor is stopping now. 